freezing this morning. Seventh coldest start to a November, a November 10th we've had. Uh, but yeah, tomorrow morning, as we'll see, not going to be quite as bad. We look out there now, still sitting at 30 degrees with that cloud cover and that breeze, not quite as strong as we've seen it, but still out of the southeast at 13 miles an hour. So making for a feels like temperature in the 20s. And you can see still very gusty, mainly along the northwestern edge of the state, but even central portions of the state seeing those gusts in the low to mid 20s and your wind chills right now. Pretty dismal for this time of year. Seven degrees for Spencer, 11 up in Mason City. Otherwise, central and southern portions of the state sitting in the mid teens to low 20s. So, not exactly comfortable and not to pull a negative, but that sun is leaving us too. Clouds continue to push their way in from the west and really thicken up. So, if you want to sneak a little peek of that sunshine, well, Ain't no time like the present because it's not going to be here for a, a little while after these clouds roll in. You can see that thick mass stretching all the way out to the Rockies up near Rapid City. They've actually got a few isolated showers out there. So the glorious high pressure that brought us that sunshine is leaving. And we've got a couple pairs of systems or one pair of systems here sliding their way through. That's going to help to kick up some showers, mainly central and eastern portions of the state on Saturday. Could see quite a bit of drizzle out there, uh, but winds are still going to stay out of the south. So that's going to mean a bump in our temperatures tomorrow. Not today. Today, still pretty cold out there. 35 degrees. We're a good 17 degrees below average for this time of year with uh, temperatures to the east of us a little bit cooler. 28 for Green Bay. If you're traveling to Chicago, 31, they got a chance for a little bit of snow out there. And if you're headed west, it's looking a few degrees warmer. So really, no matter where you're heading, it's cold for this time of year. Go figure, we're in November. But as we make our way through the day, not going to lose a whole lot of, uh, I was going to say warmth, but there's not really any warmth in this. Uh, we're not going to lose a whole lot of temperatures, I guess. Uh, sitting in the low to mid 30s as we head into the evening hours, temperatures largely in the low to mid 20s. So let's track out that cloud cover. You can see by 7 p.m. we're still in the thick of it and Futurecast tries to keep a little bit of a clearing off to the southeast here before this wave of cloud cover overtakes us into Saturday morning. And you can see game time start not talking much besides perhaps a little bit of drizzle, but by the evening hours that's when we could actually see a little bit of light rainfall mainly on that southeastern edge of the state spanning back to around 35 or so and into Sunday morning we're still talking about an isolated chance at a sprinkle. So if you're looking to do stuff outdoors this weekend, it's going to be warmer, but maybe still not the best conditions to go out and about biking or anything like that. But uh, we've got those clouds increasing today. It's going to be another chilly one with that breeze out of the southeast at 10 to 20 miles an hour. And we look out there tonight, not nearly as cold. Some of us were in or some of us were close to zero with your feels like temperatures. Thankfully, we are bumping up from that and warming up into the weekend and beyond the weekend. You look at Veterans Day, 50% chance of rain, sure, but we're in the 40s after that. Next week, we might have a rain chance on Tuesday, but look at the temperatures. We're back up to near 60 with more scattered chances for showers Thursday and Friday.